time you get a chance to uh, to play in Australia is awesome. You know, the fans are starting to come out, and uh, we're getting a lot more uh, a lot more support out there. But you know, that that's always good to get. You know, you get yourself ready for the season. But uh, I think pitching in general, just before you come over to spring training, um, that you know, you can't ask for a better you know pre spring training warm up or scrimmage to uh, to be ready for spring training to give yourself an opportunity to make a team. It's generally a very long and drawn out process. Um, internationally, and by that I mean basically players excluded from the first year player draft. So anyone who's um, gaining an entry into professional baseball um, who's not from the United States, Canada, or Puerto Rico is eligible to sign at the age of 16 years old. So most players internationally will sign with a major league club at 16, 17, or 18 years old and kind of begin their trek up to the major leagues from that level. Um, players in Australia would generally sign at 16 or 17, come over to the States and play in either of the complex leagues in, the, in Arizona or in the Gulf Coast League and kind of begin their kind of slow and steady march up to the major leagues. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, if I, try to, uh, I try to do everything I can uh, playing over here and, and, and the guys that you name is in uh, Nelson and Graham Lloyd and, and all the guys that have been successful over here, you know, it helps, it helps the, uh, the country keep its name and, and, and to get back there and they sort of talk about, wow, you know, we didn't realize that there was that many guys that actually played baseball down there and, um, you know, hopefully it just helps the next young kid get an opportunity and uh, hopefully we see uh, plenty more strains in the big leagues in the future. Anytime you get some, uh, some players, you know, marquee level players that, that you can kind of you know, make your sport bigger with. You know, obviously Graham Lloyd and Dave Nielsen and, and those guys opened the door and, and kind of put baseball on the map in Australia. But, you know, in the, in the past, other guys like Rich Thompson and, and Luke Hughes and, and Chris Snelling, guys like that, you know, they help promote the sport a little bit further. And then, you know, new guys like Josh Spence and, and Liam Hendricks who are starting to lead the way. And obviously Balf, you know, just uh, anytime you can kind of put a face to the sport, uh, I think you're going to help uh, make the make it bigger, especially in Australia where it's not very big right now. You know, I, I think they're very both very comfortable being here in the United States playing baseball. They've been here a while, and and I, I think they're proud of where they're at and what they've done. I, I think uh, bringing a bit of Aussie flavour to the team. You know, they they all try and mock us and, and talk like us, and you know, it, you know, kind of lightens the the mood, especially in the bullpen when we're down there, and even in the dugout. And uh, you know they love they love the Aussies over here, and uh, they all think you know we're top blokes, and you know it, it just it, it helps a lot lighten the mood. We're, we're very easy, uh, happy-go-lucky guys, and and I think that they feed off that too. Yeah, you know it's uh, it's it's nice to have another Aussie around. You can uh, joke a little bit, and uh, you know we get we get the sense of humour that we're uh, throwing out there, and uh, you know it's it's just good to talk about people back home and and familiar faces and familiar names and things like that. So. Good. Yeah, they're, they're actually quite amazed that we don't play in high school uh, or we don't have a college uh, college system for baseball. And uh, when I tell them that it's just a you know something you do when you're a kid and, and you just have fun, and uh, you know they're they're surprised at that. You know they used to playing competitively, you know from high school on. And um, not to say that we're not competitive either, but um, you know a lot of guys that play baseball back in Australia just do it for the fun and uh, and you know something to do on the weekend and. You know, when you get to realize that you can maybe turn that into a into a career, you know, it's it's fantastic for for young guys in Australia. You know, they have a very good opportunity over there, especially, you know, after a lot of guys have come over here and done pretty well. You know, the, the scouts are definitely moving out to Australia now to check out the talent, and uh, you know, we've always been known as a very uh, sporty nation, I guess you could say, and. You know, uh, this is just another example of a, of a sport that isn't very big in Australia, but you know, and, and a small pool to pick from. But the guys are, uh, are playing well and, and getting better every year. I mean, the ABL was proof last year. Uh, the first year, the uh, the inaugural season, you know, it was a pretty good standard, but it really stepped up another level this year. And and uh, you know, I personally found it a lot more difficult than the year before. And you know, it was. Probably a really good uh, brush up for uh, for the season. Yeah, I grew up. Uh, you know, I didn't really know much about the game. My dad and I kind of stumbled across the game, and we fell in love with it, and uh, it became our lives. You know, we uh, you know every weekend we go we go to the game. Uh, my dad started up the Kings Langley Baseball Club, which is still around today, and uh, you know I have great memories. You know, it's just right now it's just it's just the great memories of thinking back. You know, uh, all the hard times you go through to get to where you're at now, and uh, it's just. 
it's just good to look back on it and um, you know all the people that I've met along the way uh, that have influenced me and that have helped me get to this uh, point where I'm at now. So, well, I'd say no matter what country, it's all about talent, and and if you're talented playing the game of baseball, somebody's going to find you. Yeah, you know, playing with my brother, it's always good when you get to play with your best mate, and and uh, you know, he just happens to be my brother as well, and uh, yeah, you know, I've I've watched him from a young kid, and 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 he was. Uh, he was an amazing pitcher, you know, and uh, just a bit of unfortunate circumstances with the with the uh, the wrong team, I guess you could say, and kind of a log jam for him, and he didn't get, uh, he kind of fell through the cracks a little bit, and um, you know, he, I personally still think he has what it takes, you know, and uh, you know, just a matter of getting the innings, getting the uh, and getting the right game at the right time to get over here, and uh, you know, he, he's moving on with his life, but uh, you know, I feel like. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll be back pitching with the Aces this year and, uh, you know, we're going to work together and do some stuff with him and hopefully, uh, hopefully he can get another opportunity.